What's up guys, it's Michael here. So once again, it's the NV X360 and we're addressing some of the issues that might be of nuisance to some users. At the very beginning, it's a bit hard to lift the lid. It does not have a cutout for effortless opening. And in some situations, you might have a few seconds of hard time trying to open the laptop. When you finally open the device, the screen is 16 by 9, not 16 by 10. I honestly don't understand why is it not 16 by 10, as all the competitors start doing it in 2020. Look at the black bar at the bottom of the screen. The only thing it is useful for is the HP logo. But on the other hand, imagine the screen extends to the very bottom, like almost touching the keyboard level, and imagine you have a touch screen and you want to touch the start menu. Won't it be awkward to touch icons that are so close to the keyboard? I think it would. So today I wanted to do some testing while gaming and doing Premiere Pro workloads. But my first problem is that you can't see the CPU temperature in hardware monitor. How am I supposed to relate the temperatures to you guys if I don't know what they are? Fortunately, the new Windows 2004 update that came to my device just yesterday shows GPU temps in Task Manager, and this could give us a clear indication at what temps the CPU is running. Also, during the 2004 update, the laptop automatically updates the BIOS and AMD drivers. Good. OK, so let's do some gaming. The only game that I own is Arma Free. Both of my machines run this game well and on both devices the game is playable using almost the same settings. Texture detail on my desktop PC was set to high, however the NVX360 Max texture settings was standard. The rest of the settings were exactly the same. I could easily play the game on the NVX360 with no lag or stutter. The frames were about 50 FPS in comparison to 60 FPS on my desktop PC. Please don't forget that the Ryzen 7 is running an integrated GPU and my desktop PC has a dedicated GeForce 1660. The GPU and probably the CPU temperatures were around 63 degrees while in HP recommended mode and after switching to performance mode, the temps were around 73 degrees Celsius. The laptop got hot to the touch, especially where the base of the unit meets the screen. This area was significantly hotter than the middle of the keyboard. The 13-inch screen on the NV is small, and I would not feel comfortable playing any visually detailed game that requires prolonged episodes of focus observation, yeah, I'm used to playing games on a 50-inch 4K screen. Some folks in the comments asked if the screen size is an issue. Well, while playing games, yes, and I would prefer a bigger screen. And I suspect that even a 17-inch laptop would not satisfy my needs. Also, someone asked if the screen brightness is an issue. Well, not indoors, no, but as soon as you go out and want to do a lot of work that is concentrated around finding details and small items, numbers or buttons located on the screen, then yes, it would be an issue. OK, let's move to Premiere Pro. And yeah, the small form factor and lack of hyper-threading definitely shows here. Note that the two versions of Adobe Premiere are slightly different. The sequence settings are exactly the same and both devices use hardware acceleration, CUDA for NVIDIA and OpenCL for AMD. First, let's launch the same project on both devices. The TV on top shows the Ryzen 2700X with 64 gigs of RAM and the difference is clearly visible. Next, using the same sequence, I try to play a 4K MP4 clip at full resolution on both devices. The NV uses almost 100% of its CPU, but it plays the 4K clip well. The situation changes when you add an effect. I used Lumetri color to bring down the highlights and the NV starts to be unusable. It's dropping frames everywhere. After adding another Lumetri color, the situation is similar. You will not be able to play the video in real time. After dropping the resolution to half, Still, the NVX360 is not playing the video smoothly. Only after dropping the resolution to a quarter, 
the Envy plays the video with all the effects without visible stutter and frame drops. Honestly, I was expecting the Ryzen 4700U to do a better job. The device is clearly designed for light video editing and color grading in especially 1080p. Okay guys, so we're going to record this once again. I don't know if the microphone was switched off or what, but uh, this is the second take. As you can see, the camera it does have a little bit of graininess in the video, but it's a wide angle. I do really like this, um, this camera angle in comparison to other laptops that are available on the market. This one is really nice. And the microphone, mm, you, need to, you need to judge for yourself. So I can't hear it right now, so I can't be able to tell you but we're going to find out in just a minute. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked this video. And in the next one, I'm going to show you the original HP tilt pen that I just got for my HP Envy X360. See you later.